Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. HBO have just dropped their first official trailer for Watchmen and there's a lot to unpack from it. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the trailer as well as what it signifies down the line. This is full spoilers ahead so if you don't want to have anything ruined for yourself then I highly suggest that you turn off now. With that out the way, huge thank you for clicking this video, I hope you enjoy it. Now sit back, relax, let's watch the trailer and get into my breakdown. We are no one. We are everyone. And we are invisible. We convinced ourselves that they were gone, but they were just hibernating. They came for everybody. Oh, please. Are we safe? I guess we have ourselves a reckoning. What are you two talking about? Oh, nothing. Just the end of the world. Okay, so the first big thing to take from the trailer is that Rorschach's journal has clearly made it into mass circulation, with his death now sparking an uprising in vigilantes. The people have been shaken out of their apathy, and it seems that the course that Ozymandias set the world on in terms of salvation will be brought down because of this, with the Doomsday Clock now ticking once more. Speaking of Doomsday Clock, thankfully the TV show will not be tying into that comic book at all, and the world seems like it's straying away heavily from it, which in my opinion is a good thing. Anyway, in order to combat this uprising, the police force have had to don their own masks, as they will no doubt be unsure of exactly who is a vigilante and who isn't. This mirrors the original Night Owl who was a police officer but wore a mask in order to fight the mob, who then retaliated by wearing their own masks and this escalated into heroes versus villains. The Rorschachs are now taking down the police because they view them as anti-freedom and liberty and realise that society is now based on the lie that Ozymandias told in the graphic novel that killed millions in order to divert war. We also get a flash of a carnival with hundreds dead which could be a callback to the dead that were killed in the psychic attack at the end of the graphic novel. Ozymandias is seen meditating and there's also a flash of a pirate flag which is of course a reference to the Black Freighter. We then see a mask that is mirrored and this clearly signifies a reflection on society that has pushed the world to the point that it once again needs vigilantes. I can see this guy being the villain and he's probably going to incorporate both the chaos and order that the two sides are trying to enforce and basically tear everything down. We end with a sheriff stating that he's talking about the end of the world and to me this signifies that the Rorschachs will slowly begin tearing down everything around them in order to start again. The two sides are clearly going to war and I can't wait to see how this pans out in the future. Watchmen looks incredible and it will no doubt revitalise the property for many so I'm hoping to see a huge resurgence. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trailer and if I missed anything out then make sure you comment below and let me know. I currently do a podcast called Watching the Watchmen, which breaks down each issue of the graphic novel page by page, so if you're interested in seeing a full, long form analysis on the work, make sure you check it out at the end of this video. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.